Put your hands on the... Hey, 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 hey! Keep your hands where I can see them. Turn around. Drop the phones and put your hands up on the wall. Sir, are you okay? I don't know. I don't know what happened. Raise both of your hands. What's this? I've been pulled over a couple of times, you know what I mean? So I kind of know the procedure and I know what to look for. This scenario scared the shit out of me. Switch. They going on here today, yeah. Overdoses have gone through the roof here in the United States. And since they've gone through the roof, police officers find themselves having to respond every single day to a possible overdose. What happens if there's an overdose on a public transportation vehicle? What are the officers gonna do? Well, today on Switch, these officers are gonna get dispatched to an overdose that just occurred on a public transportation bus, and they gotta go handle the situation. They gotta go get this person some aid so that way this person doesn't die. Let's go see how the civilians do when they switch their roles and become police officers. Let's go. Officer, this is what you got, man. You're here for a medical assist. The bus driver pulled this bus over because multiple people on the bus are calling and complaining about a guy who's been using drugs and he's overdosing on here. So he's going in and out of consciousness. And so the fire department has already arrived, but they need you to make the scene safe before they actually come and evaluate him. So what we want you to do is I want you to pull him off of the bus, evaluate him, make sure he doesn't have any syringes or anything like that on him. And then from there, you can go ahead and let him go to fire. So you can walk him to the fire truck around the corner. And the fire truck will be around the corner from here. So fire department's here. You just got to get him off take him over to fire so that way he can get evaluated. It's about time, bro. It's about time, bro. We're trying to go to work. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, who seems to be the problem? He stinks, man. Overdosing is drunk or something. I saw. I thought I saw him shooting earlier or something like that. Trying to go to work. Is anybody else harmed on this bus? No. Nah. No. Nah. He's holding this up, bro. That's all. He's holding this up, man. Yes, hey. Yo. 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 What's going on, boss? Shit. I'm trying to get to Penn Station. Bro, this ain't even a bus from Penn Station. It's a bus. It's a bus. I go to Penn Station every bro, day. Bro, this ain't Penn Station. This is the 13th hey, Broadway, bro. Hey, hey, bro. boss. Are you? Are you all right? Are you sick or anything? Good. I had a couple of drinks, six, seven, nine. Bro, you had more than that, bro. Oh, you had more than that. You over bro, here fucking right. snoring, dog. Why don't we do this? Why don't we come off the bus so we can see if I you're all right? I gotta get off the bus. Yeah. 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 I, I'm gonna get to Penn Station if I get off the bus. Well, it's all right. Let's figure this out. Let's you work this out. Yeah, come on. Come on. We can go to work. You can go to Penn Station. Take him. God, hurry up, bro. This shit crazy, man. He got to go. Are you all right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right, right. Every, all right, everyone relax. Everyone relax. Everyone relax. Finally, we can go to work. Thank God you got here. Bro. Thank you. We need all day. Hurry up. Push him down. Okay, relax. Relax. Come relax. On. Come on. It's, it's, all, it's, all, it's all right. It's all right. Let's go. Let's go. They got to go to work. They got to go to work. I'm a human. They got to go to work. All right. What seems to be the problem? Nothing, man. I'm What's going on? What's going on? Man, you get him out the bus, I gotta go to work, bro. Come on, man. Hey, buddy, how you doing, man? Tripping, dog. You really tripping, how you doing? Yeah. How you feeling, man? Yeah. You feel good? Yeah. You high, man. He you high? high? Yeah, man. I'm trying to get to Penn Station. Hey, man, let me take this you to Penn Station, the bus, all right? Station. Let me take you to Penn Station, all right? Hey, look, let me get you to Penn Station, all right? Hey, be bro, before man. you get off, though, you got any, anything sharp on you? Nah, nah I'm good. I, can, I was naked. When I, when Wait, I, hey, officer, just take him off the bus. Bro. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. This, all right look, this is just for both our safety, all right? All right, I get off the bus. You I'm going I'm I'm to I'm I'm take you to Penn Station. I just want you want to see if you got anything sharp on you, all right? Hey, hey officer, take that off the bus, man. All right, we don't feel safe. All right. All right. I'm going, I'm going. Come on, come on. He's going, he's going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Back out with me, back out with me. Back out with me. I'm going I'm to walk you out. Back out with me. Just making sure you ain't got nothing sharp. I just want to make sure you don't got nothing sharp on him. That's all. All right? I look at his hands. I'm looking at his hands. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're going we gonna, we gonna to take you to Penn Station. We're going to take you to Penn Station. 
We're going to take you to Penn Station. We're going to take you to Penn Station. All right. All right. All right. Oh! <laughs> All right, all right, all right, calm down. Sir, 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 let me talk to you for a second, sir. Sir, stand up, sir. Stand up, sir. You say what? Sir, stand up, sir. Stand up, sir. Matter of fact, sit there, sir, sit there, sir, sit there. I just need you to get up for a second, sir. I need you to get up, sir. Yes, get I need you to get up, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I need you to get up, sir. I need you to get up, sir. I need you off the bus, sir. I need you off the bus, sir. No, you cannot get your hands. Step down. Bye. Step down, sir. We just need you to walk to the side, sir. Just need you to walk to the side, sir. Just get on back. Just get on the side. Just be talking. I'm just talking to you. I'm just talking. We're going to take you to where you need to go. No, I'm just talking to you, sir. Sir, let me Put your hand. Put your hand. Put your hand. Hey, so I didn't tell you this, but we actually had secret bets going on how many how many of us thought you was gonna get the gun because you've been killing it all day. Like we thought you was gonna pick up the gun on them. And, and, and see, this is the thing. Like I'm trying to. Uh, are you able to just search someone for no reason when you bring? I mean, if if he was a threat or a problem, then I would. But they saying he's sick, so I don't even want to violate his rights of just searching him. And I should have, you know, maybe I should have searched for a syringe or anything, but if I'm pulling him off the bus to help him, then there's no reason to violate his rights and searching him and patting him down. I'm trying to get him some help. But uh, I guess- So logically, if we lived in a great world, that's my thought process. Right. Dude just needs help. Right. The problem is, is I don't know this dude from Adam. Did you know him from Adam? You ain't never seen this guy before, right? Right. And so when you get there, you just thinking it's a medical assist. Right. But in our profession, we can't always show up to calls thinking that it is what the caller said it is. You know, yeah, it went, and yeah, he was probably under the influence, no doubt, but we can't always just go based on what people tell us. We always gotta be having in the back of our mind, like what ha what, what's the worst case scenario? And I know a lot of people that watch videos and stuff, they're like, oh, well, you guys are too paranoid. You can't live in a worst case scenario world, but we almost have to. Right. And you know what, when I was walking down the stairs, I was like, I should pat him down. I should pat him down. <laughs> but I was like, you know what, let me stick, stick the protocol. He don't want to violate his rights, patting him down. And he, you know, but yeah, that's something I got to learn. So according to case law, Terry versus Ohio, I believe it is, it allows you to pat a person down if they have bulky clothing on just for years. And so you can do what's called uh, a pat down search, right. which basically means like, can you tell if he has a weapon underneath that sweater? Right, right, right. You know, now if I was wearing skinny shirts, I mean, I'm kind of wearing skinny clothes, but even still, I can hide a gun underneath here and you would never know it. Right. So Terry versus Ohio basically allows you to pat a person down and determine if they have weapons on them before you continue your investigation. Right. So you're not violating their rights. That's different from a cursory search. A cursory search means I'm going all the way in your pockets and things like that. You can't go in his pockets unless you have a probable cause. Man, you guys got to go through a whole heck of a lot because I felt like when I entered the bus, you know, just straight overdose. I'm not really thinking about the weapon, but you got to be ready for all of that. So when I searched him, I'm really searching for something sharp. And I, I probably didn't check his waistline like I should have or his, his hoodie like I should have, you know, and I'm thinking I'm, I'm backing him out so I can, I can have the up on him, but I didn't really check his waistline like I should have. And I'm, I'm not trying to endanger the, the rest of the people on the bus. So I want to get him off the bus. So when I did, he pulled and, and hit me in the vest. Man, that's that's adrenaline flowing. That's everything. You're not thinking a, a junkie going to whip out a piece on you. Not at all. Not at all. And, you know, we added another element. I mean, but you you have all the passengers on there, all these people on looking, get off the bus. I got to go to work. Mm -hmm. you just trying to do your job. And you actually thinking you're doing the right thing by just walking them, getting them yeah. away, right? Yeah. Hey, so regardless, Oh, well, set me up, man. No, we, we, I promise you we didn't set you up. I was actually going to say you handled that. I got him off the bus no, the right hey, way. No, I no, no. There, and as soon as he started, I grabbed him. I'm like, did he take my gun and I didn't know? I'm like, he didn't touch me. Then I was like, did his girl take the gun on the, off the bus? 
And then he just thought he brought, I was like, he took my car. Like, <laughs> he was like, man, he real good. Yes, he, he real good. Yes, he a magician. Man. <laughs> no, man. So, no, he didn't take your gun. That was actually a technical difficulty on our end. So it happens. But, man, you handled that. So you, this was your fourth time going through. So I want to know how you felt. Out of all the role players, how'd you feel? So normally uh, people do the same thing, de-escalate, talk to me and stuff like that. His approach is totally different and I wasn't ready for it. I was ready to blade my body so you don't feel it when you pat me down or nothing like that. You literally took control. I had no control over anything. You had my hands, you're kind of strong. <laughs> I just wanted to know that shit. I tried to fight it on the way down the stairs. Yeah. I'm like, I guess I'm going down like this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Then when we got here, I was pent. And then I got one arm free because I told him I was going to jump up and I got that arm free and that's when I reached for it. Yeah, you know, the crazy thing is, is when we were talking, I knew that if you got up, you can overpower me. So that's why I walked past you. And I was like, now when I got behind you, you can't overpower me. Because once I get your arms like this, you ain't moving. Literally. And then when I couldn't get to my gun, I'm like, that's when I started getting, I started getting nervous. I'm like, what the? I'm like, did he take my handgun? But that's what I did. You know, I walked by you, you know, and I tried to, you know, try to use my, my muscle just to get there so I can get you off the bus and, and at least get have you where I'm safe. Because when you're on the bus, I couldn't see everything that was going on. I can't see what's on that seat next to you, what you're sitting on, what's in your shirt. And I kind of just wanted to control that, but you know, I didn't have no fire on. Man, what I, what I loved about it is you made a decision and you just went with it. Mm -hmm. Like you weren't second guessing yourself, you weren't overthinking it. You just said, hey, look, I'm gonna get this guy and I'm gonna control the situation. With that all being said, this scenario actually happened in Wisconsin. So in Wisconsin, officers show up on a medical assist with fire department for a guy that actually was overdosing on a bus. They pull the guy off the bus, and when they pull him off the bus, he's kind of not cooperative with the officer. He's like, get your hands off me, get your hands off me. And then he turns and pulls a gun out on the officer, and he actually shoots and shoots the officer and kills a firefighter on scene. Mm. The very person that was there that actually saved his life. Because they actually gave him some Narcan, and he came out of it, and when they took him off the bus, they ended up, the guy ended up shooting up, shooting and killing the firefighter. Wow. Then a huge shootout happened around the bus, in between the bus and the transit station. And so all these other innocent people were in, in harm's way because you have officers shooting at a suspect. And it takes a scenario like this to wake the officer up because that's a wake up. And anybody, I'm pulling up, I'm patting them down with bulky no. clothing. But you know, for a person that don't know the procedures or whatever, I mean, you know. And that's why we do this. Yeah. We, we, we don't expect everybody to know what we do. And we don't, we don't expect everybody to go out there and get educated and learn the laws. That's not an expectation that's required of the community. But what we do expect is that people could just slow down and try to see the context of the whole situation before they form that opinion, only because there might be more that meets the eye. Switch. They going in our head today, yeah.